Hey, I'm Dale with Pacific Sun Technologies. In this video today, I'll be talking to you about how Southern California Edison is preparing to transition over 400,000 residential customer accounts to time of use rate plans this March as part of a statewide initiative and the impact this is going to have on you and your wallet. Since January, SCE has been notifying customers in this first wave of transitions that they are been randomly selected to participate. These customers will receive multiple communications before the actual transition in March. They will have the option to either remain on their current rate, transition to a specified time of use rate, or switch to a different time of use rate offering. The switch to time of use rates comes with the California Public Utilities Commission directed the state's major utility companies to default their customers to time of use plans by 2020. The goal behind implementing the time of use plans is to lessen the strain on the electrical grid during peak hours when use of renewable energy is at its highest. This should help the grid adjust later in the day when it switches to more conventional sources of power such as natural gas. While time of use plans can benefit some customers, many consumer advocates like myself warn it can raise rates for many others. Southern California Edison has rolled out six different type of time of use rate structures, each with their own purpose. I've provided a link in the description below so you can visit SCE's website to compare the rate structure when you are switched to time of use. The time of use rate structure that I selected to talk about in this video is TOUDA. This rate structure is intended for low and medium energy users. Typically homeowners that use less than 700 kilowatt hours a month. The average cost per kilowatt hour is 29 cents when you factor in the off-peak rate. In this diagram, you can see the rates are at their cheapest when utility demand is at its lowest, 10 p.m. to 8 a.m., with rates changing from 28 cents between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. to 48 cents between 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. Comparing TOUDA to SE's tiered rate plan, you can see the disadvantages of time of use, most notably the average cost per kilowatt hour. The tiered rate plan has an average cost per kilowatt hour of 25.6 cents overall versus time of use rate average of 29 cents. If you are someone who uses less than 700 kilowatt hours a month in energy and between the hours of 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., then this time of use plan will drastically affect your wallet as the average cost per kilowatt hour during this time frame is 38 cents. I've provided an example in this video for you to see the math. So let's say you use 700 kilowatt hours for the entire month of February. And during the month you use 200 kilowatt hours between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m., 300 kilowatt hours between 2 p.m. and 8 p.m., 100 kilowatt hours between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m., and 100 kilowatt hours between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. Don't focus too much on when the power was used just yet, and I'll show you why in a second. So let's break this down. The cost between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. is 28 cents per kilowatt hour, giving you $56. The cost between 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. is 48 cents per kilowatt hour, giving you $144. The cost between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m., again, 28 cents per kilowatt hour, giving you $28. And finally, the cost between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. is 12 cents per kilowatt hour, giving you $12. This brings your total bill, before miscellaneous fees of course, to a whopping $240 and all you used was 700 kilowatt hours of energy. Now I'm sure you're about to say, well you put 300 kilowatt hours during the peak demand time. So let's back up and refer back to the average cost between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. which is 38 cents per kilowatt hour. What this means is, unless you plan on not running your AC when you get home or eating at home or watching TV at home or turning on the lights when you're at home, hell, if you plan on doing anything at home between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m., you're pretty much going to pay 38 cents per kilowatt hour on average. 
In the example I just provided that puts your bill at $228 before factoring in the energy used between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m., which puts you right back at $240 a month. Under the tiered rate structure for someone using less than 700 kilowatt hours a month, you won't even get into the high usage tier rate three. You'll average a monthly payment of $147 or 21 cents per kilowatt hour and you don't have to make any changes to your routine. That's a price increase of $100 a month. I hope you're starting to get the picture. Time of use is very expensive and it's clearly more expensive than a tiered rate plan. But there is hope, of course, because no matter what, everyone, regardless of your utility provider, will be switched to time of use rate plans throughout 2018 and 2019. So what's this glimmering hope, you ask? Well, it's solar plus storage systems. Yes, plus storage. Because even when you go solar, you're placed under a time of use rate structure. This took effect in July of 2017. I'm not going to go into details. We can save that for another video. But the good news is you can drastically reduce your demand from the utility company during peak hours of 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. with the properly designed system. The utility company has basically given you a reason to go solar. You're either going to pay a higher cost for energy you use to live the way you want or invest in a solar plus storage system. There is, of course, a third option. You could become a vampire and sleep during the day inside a coffin and live how you want at night. But let's be serious here. That's not a real option for anyone. There's one more thing I need to add. The federal investment tax credit is going to start winding down after this year, which means this is the last year for you to receive a 30% federal tax credit when you purchase or finance a renewable energy system. So unless you don't care about saving money, you should probably drop us a call and set up a free energy consultation. We've helped thousands of homeowners reduce or eliminate their utility bill, and I know we can help you too. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the information helpful in understanding the new time of use rates taking effect over the year and how they'll impact you. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Yep, down there. We're here to help you make the right choice and to understand the advantages of investing in renewable energy. Please be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our social media pages to receive alerts when we publish new videos weekly.